I want to run through a few of my After Effects CS6 new feature highlights with you. The outstanding performance related improvement is the new improved frame caching system. Frames are rendered into RAM as before, but now those cache frames can be restored if a comp or layer is returned to previous state. Let me show you this by purging these frames from RAM. The frames are lost from the RAM cache, but they're still stored in the disk cache, ready to be reinstated much more quickly than if they had to be re-rendered. Essentially, any frame of a comp or layer that has the same characteristics as a previously rendered frame will not have to be re-rendered. And a persistent disk cache means that stored frames will be maintained between After Effects sessions. So even if you close your project, frames will still be stored on disk for you. You can even implement a work area cache in the background. Get one comp caching while you work on another. It really is a massive acceleration to your workflow. And the 3D camera tracker is fantastic. It allows you to automatically analyse footage and extract camera motion. 3D markers appear on your footage and this target can be dragged around highlighting planes between the markers that you can attach your content to. The content will then follow the same camera moves as were used when the original footage was shot and that will make it appear as if the composited elements really belong inside the shots. You can attach a variety of elements to the footage including text layers, solids, nulls and even new shadow catcher layers which can be used to cast shadows from your applied elements. And you can control how the effect works via really easy to use effect controls that appear in the effect control panel just as other effects do and you'll see it makes the footage really look as if it belongs within the shot. And of course once the text is in place you can switch on the new 3D ray traced renderer where you can extrude and bevel the text and shape layers making them appear to be really three dimensional. And fast draft mode allows me to work as quickly as I would in my favourite 3D applications, creating true 3D elements without leaving After Effects. And you'll see here we can adjust the bevel, adjust the inner holes of the objects separately from the outer edges, and do all the things we would expect to be able to do with our 3D applications. And as well as being able to extrude and bevel layers, when we're in Ray Traced 3D, we can actually add curvature to our solids, video layers or compositions. And that really brings things to life, especially when combined with some extruded shapes, as we have here. Now we also have additional material options. You'll notice that we now have options for adjusting the reflections on the surface of our objects. We also have controls for transparency as well as reflection, allowing us to create very shiny surfaces. And of course we can adjust things like the intensity and the sharpness to create a softer effect. If I adjust the sharpness here, take that down to a lower value, you'll see I get a really nice reflective quality to that floor. So a lot of control over your material options. You can even add environment maps. So you can use a layer as an environment map to affect the quality of the surface when you're working in Ray Trace 3D. And the current render indicator allows us to see which renderer we're using and we can go into the options and adjust the ray tracing quality if we want a higher quality than the default quality. We can also adjust the anti-aliasing filter. But fast draft mode allows us to work quickly regardless of what those options are. So we can quickly see our footage preview and move on to the next job. Now another new feature is we can actually vary the feathering on a mask. So we have variable width mask feathering with the mask feather tool. You select the Mask Feather tool and you just click to add Mask Feather points. And using these points you can drag the feather value into or out from the mask shape. And of course why just add one point? You can add multiple points. And each of the points can control the mask feather in a different way. As you can see I can drag this point in 
and have a wider feather value here and here than I have at the top and bottom of the mask. So it allows you to drag the points around the mask as well and really interactively adjust the feathering of your mask. Another great new feature is creating shapes from vector layers. Now when you import an Illustrator file, you can convert it directly to a shape layer without having to do any copying and pasting of paths. And it's a great way of creating shapes to use as 3D objects. If I then go into 3D and into my Ray Trace 3D environment, I can extrude and bevel the shape. You'll also notice the new layer bounding box and selection indicators, which make it easier to work with shape layers and other layers within After Effects. So that's a quick run through of some of my favourite new features in CS6. There are a whole load of other new features, including rolling shutter repair, lots of new 32-bit effects, and all sorts of scripting changes and watched folders for the AE renderer. If you want to check those out, check the Adobe website. But these are my favourite features and I hope you enjoy using them just as much as I do.